Am I alive now? I guess I am. Hey, Umid Farm, hey. Hey. I just want to talk honestly tonight. I'm trying to try not to be so negative. Hey, Umid Farm, what up? Extremely amazing. I rap for some people like tonight. I what forgot her name. And they roasted the hell out of me. I got angry and broke him. Hey. Hey. Well, let me go in my story. I When I first started rapping them here, people were, were fanning me, fanning, fanning the hell out of me. Telling me, oh, we will love you. People telling me they love me. When I, told, when I was talking about my desire to get cosmetic surgery, because let's face it, I'm ugly. Look, I'm, look, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I need, I need plastic surgery. I need cosmetic surgery. I want it. I want a second chance of life. And for, and for the second, for that second chance of life, you have to look good in this, in today's society. Because if you, if you don't look good today, you cannot get a fair break. But today and yesterday, I found out what was going on. And they, they they roasted the hell out of me. I I was invited to somebody's. I I I curse God. I can't remember. I can't remember like I used to. I was invited on the, a show a talent showcase. And I just did not believe it when she was telling me, "Oh, I'm impressed. You're not ugly." But I had to guess somebody somebody else. Actions speak louder than the words. I, I'm continually giving out my GoFundMe account. Trying to get some fucking stem cells so I can get my speech back. So I can fucking rap like I used to again. So I can get cl this close to get the fucking record deal again. Deal again. Or I just stand a fair, a fair, a fair chance to get rejected by the music business. Just be able to give it my best shot. I can't do that now because it's goddamn stroke. Everybody tells me they love me. Where the fuck is that all? Uh, all I'm getting, words, hot air. That and Fifty Cent can't even get a, get me a goddamn cup of coffee at the goddamn McDonald's next door. I can't get people to donate five goddamn dollars to my fucking GoFundMe. That shit adds up, you know. Your five dollars does not is not worthless. If enough people divide five into fifteen thousand, if three thousand fucking people give five fucking dollars, I can get my gold to get a fucking cosmetic surgery. No, not no, not cosmetic surgery. My mind is going on my stem cells. So then I can rap again like I used to. Doctor on the telephone told me I could get eighty percent of what I've lost back at the uh, liposuction, some fat from my gut. Harvest stem cells, adipose stem cells, inject them uh, back into, uh, inject them back there, but inject them back there, but inject them back there, but I'm trying to wrap again. Inject them back there, but inject them back into the restaurant. I swear by my soul. I, I swear by the word of God. I invoke the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I swear, if I did not become a good looking guy and a successful rapper and fulfill my dreams, I swear, and by the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that that means that Jesus Christ is a fucking imposter. He is not Israel's Messiah. He's, he is not. Then he then he is not the Son of God, and that he did not die for our sins. That only if I can become what I want, then I invoke the name of God. That to mean that that means Jesus is the Son of God and died for our sins. Yes. But nobody gives enough of a fuck about me. Nobody loves me enough. To donate, just five. I, I, that's, if you if if you don't want to donate five fucking dollars to my GoFundMe account, god damn it, because you think I'm a fucking scam, because uh, you think I'm a fucking scammer, uh, con artist.
God damn it, here's what you fucking do. Email the fucking Dr. Oz show and tell him about me, Wildman Chris. And ask me him to bring me onto the fucking show. And so I can at least talk about, so I can, at least I can get some 411 and what the fuck is bothering me. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why, why is my body fucking up like it is? I'd sell my soul right now in a heartbeat to get what, what, what I want. Even if I had to die prematurely. Like so many famous people have had to die. Tupac. Biggie Smalls. I'm willing to die prematurely like them. Those motherfuckers. To get my 50 minutes of true fame. Not the superficial shit. But the fame where people truly admire me as a good looking guy and a rapper. Where I truly go down as a legend. Truly. There's true fame and there's bullshit fame. Like William, William Hung got bullshit fame. Fuck his type of fame. Fuck him. Fuck that motherfucking motherfucker. And then there's uh, that fame. Where the, they love you because you can rap. But because you're not a good looking guy, you never get invited to parties. You never get asked out on dates. Fuck that type of fame, me too. Guy asked me to dance. There's the half Mexican, half American guy. He asked me, I, I went back into my moment section and listened to the, uh, the whole dialogue when he guessed me. And guess what I heard him saying? I heard him talking, laughing behind my back when I was dancing. I'm never going to dance again. And never, because I look like a fucking retard. Some guy, I, I came out, I, I came out to somebody's broadcast last night and saw somebody talk, call me a retard. Yeah. When he thought I wasn't listening. And, back to that guy. He's like, talking to somebody, to, telling the girls, when he comes back, say, say, just say anything. Make him think you think he's hot and sexy. You don't have to mean it to say it. Well, try, uh, I hate, I, I swear by the word of God that Jesus is the devil. He's not the Son of God. I swear by the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that Jesus is the devil. Or Jesus is not the Son of God if I do not become a good looking guy. And get the long arm that one and become, and look again like a college kid. While I had this, having this. And become get at least three fucking songs in the number one fucking spot on the top fucking ten. Whether they're whether the rap songs or rock songs. I have got two true fans who have proven themselves. Just two fans who have proven themselves up here. On go go you now. Well maybe three. That's Huma Strom. She donated five dollars to my GoFundMe account. Yeah. She put her money where her fucking mouth is. She truly loves me. She even guessed me. She even let me guess her. I can't get none of y'all motherfuckers to, to jump into my motherfucking guest queue. Oh, but y'all love me. You, you just don't love me enough to get jump into my fucking guest queue. To donate five, five piss four dollars. You're never fucking gonna miss it. God damn. Is everybody that goddamn broke? God fucking damn! Or, uh, or there's nobody, there's everybody, does everybody just not love me? What the fuck? Love is action. Jesus said, "If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, donate five dollars to my goddamn goes there for me, so I can get goddamn stem cells, so I can rap again." Don't just tell me you love me. That and 50 cents can't even, got, can't even give me a goddamn cup of coffee with a goddamn Mc fucking goddamn Donald's. And there was a uh, low key India. She actually took my GoFundMe link and posted it on her page. On her page. I saw the comment myself. Well, you know how many people have donated, uh, donated since she did that? Not a goddamn one. Now, she has many fans. She is a true fan. She put her money where her fucking mouth is. I came in today. She saw me. She got happy. You can see the obvious high happiness in her face. She was so happy to guess me. She is a true friend. That's Huma Strom. There's a boyfriend, Rectangular. 
and there's uh, what you call it? Loki in Loki India. These are uh, well, although Loki India had had not donated five dollars to my GoFundMe account, and probably will not. That then there's Abby Epes. She, I believe she's a true friend. Yeah, she's a true fan. She's a true friend. She really cares. There are people, uh, that's not, I was talking about my need for cosmetic surgery. And goddamn, look how ugly I look. I need some laser eye surgery. Because my eye vision is going bad. I need to get on Dr. Oz, goddammit. Can't you at least give me a goddamn show if you're too fucking dirt broke or don't love me enough to donate five fucking dollars to my goddamn GoFundMe? Can't you at least give me a goddamn show? Is that too, is that too goddamn much to ask, huh? Don't just tell me you love me. That's, that's a bunch of fucking hot air. I can't grab it. I can't take it home with me. I can't hang it up on the wall. So every time I wonder if people love me, I can't look at it and get reassurance. One hundred fifty-two fucking do dollars raised. Uh, Fifteen thousand dollars. I need to fucking raise for my fucking go fucking fund me account to get my fucking stem cells. I bet you if I looked good, like some a lot of these guy young boy you two you nars look, they had no fucking problem. The money would be pouring in. I swear, if I do not get my stem cells, I swear also swear that that by the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You can take this to the bank. If I also do not successfully get my stem cells, I swear by the name of the God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that Jesus Christ is not the way to heaven. That Jesus Christ is a liar. That Jesus Christ is of the devil. People tell, a few nights ago, people uh, listened to me. One girl said, I just wish I could give him a hug. I believe she meant it. I don't believe that. Told, I don't believe somebody. I don't believe she was telling me that because someone was uh, whispering to her behind my back on some mouthpiece while I was up dancing like a fucking fairy. Oh, tell him you want love. She said uh, there was one girl said she was about to tear up, and Abby Epps was. I I told you. I really think Abby Epps likes likes me as a friend. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. It's too good to be true to believe that these people really like me. It's too fucking good to be true. After the roast I got tonight, and then last night, by some guy, I'm not going to mention his fucking name, calling me a fucking retard. And this old man talking to me last night. I bet you I... I cursed... I want to. I wish I could curse God because nobody, nobody watches my fucking broadcast. I fucked up on my computer. Oh, the screen's all fucking black. I pressed the wrong fucking button. I can't get everything more. So every, every y'all, we, well, I see y'all. Y'all like, y'all look like negatives on a uh, film. Oh, I, oh, I got a guess. Okay, hell yeah, I guessed them. Okay. Hey, let me, let me put my earphones on so I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, oh shit, my, I need to plug these bitches in. Okay, okay, let me plug this. Uh, I can hear you now. Okay. Oh, you're on quiet? Alright. Uh, let me see if I can try this. Bro, I, I get it. What you're saying? Like, it sucks, bro. I know. I know. I have a brother that went through something similar. Like, to what you're going And, yeah, like, it sucks. It really does. But at the same time, I didn't even get to it, bro. I didn't. You can hardly hear me. Can you now? I can now. I can, I, I can hear you much better now. Keep on doing what you're doing so I can hear you a lot better now. Okay. Uh, like I was saying, I, I, I get what you're going through, bro. I really do. Thank you. And I have a brother that never showed, but he had a traumatic brain injury. And, um, you know, it sucks. I, I see the show he goes through and stuff. And, 
you know, dude. At the same time, I can see why you're you're mad at the world because it seems like it's not in your favor. And yeah, I'm mad at happens. God too. Well, we're you know, things happen for you. And I know you're tired of hearing that bullshit cliche, right? You know, <laughs> but it, it does. It does. Like you, 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 uh, you say, like all these things about like the good looking guys that come on here, and it, it's, it's not always about the good looking guys or the guys with the most talent or anything. Um, it's just what's in your heart, man. I know that sounds cheesy, but real shit, it is about what's in your heart. And, yeah. Uh, like I said, you can't be bitter at the world, man. Because the more bitter you are at everything around you, um, it's just, it makes life harder. You just wake up every day with a positive attitude. Yeah, it's kind of hard. To, I, I try to wake up with a, a po- as positive an, an, an attitude as I can, but when your body is hurting everywhere and the answer is on Dr. Oz or the and the doctors around here can't do shit, it's really, 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 really hard. All I want to do is be able to get up and say it's wonderful to be, be alive. I can't wait to see what the day brings. I, 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 if I had a trillion dollars, I'd give up every freaking penny to be just normal again, even that without being a good-looking guy, just to be able to feel healthy again. I get it. I, screw the trillion, trillion dollars. You can take, take, give me my damn health back, please. And let me keep it. realize how awesome it is and healthy, you know, you take it. Yeah. Down. And I, I see that. Um you know what man? I'm on your I'm on your team, man. I'm gonna do my best. Even though I don't have a lot of followers on the I'm gonna try to set the room. Um I'm I'm concerned with this so I have a but I can I can barely hear I, I can barely hear you. I can barely hear I can barely hear you. How about now? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, dude, I'm gonna try to spread the word, not just on me now, but to people, because I have, I know people from the, the Nuclear Wish Foundation and stuff, I'm gonna see what's up with that, uh, see what we can do for you, man. Dang, I, I appreciate it so much, this is the, this is what I'm talking about, action, you truly care, I, I, that, means, that means more to me than all these snowflake friends who just tell me they love me, and all these beautiful girls, that, that was the girl, Rachel, she was telling me, I wanna marry you after she heard me rap. You know she doesn't. You know she doesn't mean that shit. You know just she just playing me for a fool. <laughs> so, here's the thing about the internet too. You're on here. Everyone, uh-huh. you, can't ex- can't, you can't expect to come on the internet and everyone. Even the most popular people, they get their hate. We all just, we all, we all do. You know, yeah. it's, it's just people are behind a freaking computer screen with no one there to tell them what they're gonna. I, know. I don't mind the hate, it's, 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 but when the, that's all I seem to where, where I get seem to be getting so much hate and no love. That's that's what the problem is. I mean, everybody's gonna get hate, but surely everybody can get love too. <laughs> By the way, you knew, you knew all the lyrics to "Nothing But a G Thing," which was pretty impressive because I fucking love that song. Thank you, but did, but did I sing him good enough? What, but was my singing or what, was it whack? Yeah, bro, it was it was pretty good. The only thing was uh, it was screaming a little, but it, the the pitch was there. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah. I was uh, at least rap worthy. Tell the yeah, truth. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm telling the truth, man. But I, there was a few places where I fucked up the words in the song thanks to this fucking stroke. A little, but it, it's all good. The the, the the talent was there. But so, so you gonna do you got my GoFundMe account? Uh, how how you gonna spread the word about me to the Make a Wish Foundation? Yeah, I'm actually uh, I have my aunt works there. Actually. So I'm gonna tell her about it. My aunt, uh, her daughter passed away. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, so she she uh, works with it, and I'm I'm gonna see what I can do. And we have this thing called the Tuna Tuna Challenge or something like that. It's a big fundraiser we have every year, and it's coming around. And I. Uh, Okay. Okay. How 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 you know to get how how you know to give uh, my contact information? How you know my contact information to give? How how you get that? You have any social media or anything besides email? I got Facebook. I got I can I can get I could let me top it. Let me top in the uh, chat my GoFundMe account. Okay. Let me. I, I'm. I'm tapping in the browser first to make sure I get it right. Cause the last thing I want to do is give you the wrong link. Yeah. 
because a low key uh, India had got the link wrong. So everybody who clicks on the link, it's going to be taken to a bogus link. And I told her that, you know, uh, I think she corrected it, but, you know. Oh, no, yeah, she, I think she did correct it because I clicked on it. Um, I had to. Cut. It, it didn't go through. Uh, hold on, let me find it. It's like I lost hope or something. Like I, have, I have lost hope. Shit! I pay. I tap. I, I tap the, the wrong. I had. I had I changed one of the. I make a. I made a fucking typo. Shit! Uh, how do I sign in? I. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find a place to sign in. The okay. Uh, India has it on her on her on her account. I'll just. Uh, I'll ask her because I know India. Okay, so you can you got uh, my computer screen looks like a big uh, negative. Negative. How do how do I get my colors back on my computer screen right? I hit a control and some button wrong, and everything is black and like like a big film negative. Hello. I can't hear you. Alright, can you hear me? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna tell you something, and this is something you gotta do every day. And believe me, you're gonna say, I don't wanna fucking do it because it's not true, Bob. No. Dude, wake up every morning, take a deep breath, and say, God damn. I'm thankful to be alive. I may not have what I want now, but I'm thankful that I'm gonna, I'm, I can work for what I want. Like, and, you know what, there's still hope. Don't lose hope, man. There's always hope, no matter what. No matter what. Dude. It's like, at the end of a yeah, I can't hear. I can't hear. You. There's the link right there. Uh, yeah, I was saving the link. All right. Like, I remember. I've been. I've been in some sticky situations. Well, not health wise, but you know. I mean, I've been homeless and stuff. Had I struggled throughout my life, and I'm 17. I know I look a little older. I'm 17. So. Hey, can you, could, could you tell I'm 34 if I told you that? Huh? If I told you I was 34, would you believe it? Tell the truth. Oh, hell yeah, I believe it, bud. 34? I, I, I was going to say you look at 30 around that area. Because so somebody told me somebody told me they, they thought 29 today. 29? Yeah. I do believe it. But, uh. Yeah, I gotta go in like five minutes later. I gotta go to bed, and my mom's gonna yell at me for staying up too late. I'm sorry, but thanks. And, and by the way, I'm 44. <laughs> You're really? Yep. Wow. I, ho I hope the reason I look so old is I, ho I, ho I hope it's the shitty webcam. I hope that's the reason because no, in I person, I want me to be honest with you. I know I I don't really see my dad a lot, and but whatever. But he looks a lot older than you. Yeah, I think he's only a year older. So you should get better. Right? Okay. I'm serious. Uh, I'm gonna get off in a minute though, because I gotta go upstairs and get the hay, because I got a long day tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Don't lose hope, trust me, man. No, no matter, it's never the end, bro. It's never the end. Never too late. Okay. okay. Right. Thank you. God bless you, man. Um, I'll, whenever you're here, I'll be back. I'm here. Okay, right. thank you. I wish I could figure out, figure out what's wrong with this computer while wow, this color is wrong. I don't know, man. I wish you the best of luck with that, too, man. But, Thank uh, you. Good, man. Have a good night. Uh, peace out. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. Man, he was cool. I liked him. But I also say, I, I'll, I'll also say this. I swear by the name of God. I invoke the name of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, not again. And for consistently for another season. Look in my 20s. I swear by the word of God, by the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that Jesus is not the Son of God. Gee, I, look, I, hate, I, I can't blame the webcam. I'm just, oh, people are leaving by the droves. Let's see the, the trap. I would grab, but at the roast that I got today. 
Let's see. Shit, wrong site. Well, anybody, anybody else have? Yeah, that, oh, that's what I was saying. No, but nobody's done it. I got zero gold, bar, gold bars. Nobody's donating, donated any gold bars to me. Tip me. I know what he said is true, but until I get start getting the action, the real love, like the other, uh, like the other more hip, you nowers. That will prove to me. That will be proof positive. I'm a fucking nobody. If I was to fucking go out today and get shot, the only people who would give a fucking shit or cry for me is my family. Love you too. Thank you. Well, God, well, yeah, you mean the one who's giving me the stroke, the, the one who's holding over my head, the stem cells, and the one who didn't give me the good looks, him, I hate, I love, part of me has love for God, but part of me, I have a hatred for God for, for making me the cosmic joke. He needed some comic relief, so he made me. I want to be a good looking guy. No, I'm not going to let you look, be a good looking guy, Chris. I'm not going to let you. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 I want to be a rapper. Chris, I'm not going to let you be a rapper. I'm going to I'm I'm give you a stroke. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. And even when you do rap, I'm going to make you look retarded. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. You got a perfect mind, Chris. You're a genius. People think you're a genius. But I'm going to give you the body that to make you look like a homeless vagrant. Ha, 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 ha. You mean this God? If God loved me, if God truly loved me for me, not just for his selfish self, not just for his glory. Well, I better not say that because I, I don't believe God loves me for me. He loves me for himself, for what he, for his glory. Not for me. When he died on that cross, he saw me dying in Jesus Christ. And so he saw, when he sees me, he sees Jesus resurrected. He does not see me. Because if he sees me, God hates the sinner. If, uh, if he sees me and does not see Jesus Christ, he's going to throw me in the hell because he hates me. He hates me. God does not hate the, just sin. God hates a sinner. If you read that Bible, that it says in the Bible clearly, God hates a sinner. I wish God, God, I challenge you. I, I offer you this challenge, God. I can be happy as a good looking guy and a rapper. Going to hell. I challenge you, God. I offer you the, the challenge. Also, God, I swear by your name, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I invoke your name. I swear that your son, that Jesus Christ is not your son. The historical Jesus Christ was or the devil. If I did not become a good looking guy and get a long arm and become, get at least one, three songs in the top ten and get my dreams fulfilled right, right on here. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Verily I say unto you, they had their reward. I want my reward, reward right down here now. There is nothing, God, that you can't offer me. That I would exchange my dream of being a good, a good looking guy for. Of course when I get to heaven, I'll change my mind. Because, in other words, the rewards in heaven, you're going to have to change me for me to appreciate the rewards in heaven above what I want right now. And I hate change, God. I hate change. I got ass words. I hate change. Fuck change. Fuck change. I hate change. Change is about change is as, change is about as much as an abomination to me, God, as Sodom and Gomorrah were to you. I hate change. Fuck change. I've I've tried I, I tried I repented of selling my soul to the devil. What happened? My face started to look old. I repented of selling my soul in 2012. In 2012, if you see a video of me in 2012, my face looks like a baby face. In 2012, when I repented in November, shortly after that, my face began to look old. Middle age. 
And to me, if I look 30, that's old. 29, 28 is old too. I was looking 25 to 27 back in 2012. And here I was, fucking 40, 41 years old. I want that, whatever the, I'm willing to, I'm, uh, if God will give him, give him what I want, I'm willing to, after enjoying it for a short season, I'm willing for them to strike me on my ass when it, it, with immense suffering so, to his glory, so that I, all, I can, all that I can do is serve him. Hannah begged God for a child and said, if you give me a son, I will give him to you. And that's how Samson was born. If God would give me what I want, he can have me totally. And he can strike me down. So that he, is going, so that he can be seen shining through me because of my weakness. Just as long as he let me, let me be a good looking guy, become, be a good looking guy. Long enough. I want that uh, teenage and college age girls think I'm good looking. Of course the older women are going to think you look good. Anything that looks young is good looking to them. I want the pickiest girls on the planet to think I'm a good looking guy. Because if they think I'm a good looking guy, I truly am a good looking guy. And hey, God is the one who created nature in this way. It's called propagation of the species. The good looking members of the species are the better, have the better genes. So if you, if you hate all the superficiality in America today, you hate how the good-looking people got it easy. Point your finger at fucking God. He, he's responsible for creating nature this way. Point your finger at motherfucking God. He is his fault. Greatness takes time. I haven't got time. My time is running out. My time is running out. Especially when I can't get the stem cells to get my body the boost I need. I will be dead. I predict I will be dead in ten years. And this man, people used to call me a boy, like a kid, a college kid. Now people are calling me a man. I hate you, God, for this because I don't look young anymore. Used to be, I touched this, uh, I touched this girl's head. I touched girl's head because of she was five years old. This is back in 2010. I overheard her ask her dad, "Why that boy touched my head? Why that boy? That boy? That boy? Young?" 2011, I was riding my bicycle. And there is his mother with her five-year-old son. The mother commented to her son, look at the boy on the bicycle. The boy, the boy, the boy. You want, you know, you know the fucking shit that I fucking hear today? God fucking damn it. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, move out of the way and let that man by. I'd rather fight in hell as a boy than go to heaven as a man. If God truly loved me, if he has one scintilla of love for me, let people start calling me a boy because I look like a boy. Not because I want to be called a boy, but because I look like a boy. Young! 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 Do you hear me? Young! And good, uh, I don't have to be Brad Pitt. I don't have to fucking be Tom Cruise. I just want to be better looking than average. I just want when the girls see me, the, uh, the young girls, the young girl, young, young, college age, teenage, when they see me, they say, Think to themselves, he looked good. If they've had a hard day at work, if they see me passing by, the side of me because I look good, attractive, calms their blood pressure and makes them happy. That's a, that's how good looking I gotta be. I don't gotta be the best looking fucker on the planet. I don't gotta have, be fucking ripped with a six pack abs like these fucking hot guys on you now that can fuck any girl they want. The girl would fall into their arms. I don't want, I, I don't even want sex. Fuck sex. Sex be damned. Sex is so oh, fucking overrated. I'm still a fucking virgin. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. I don't give a goddamn about sex. All I want is for the girls to think I look good. Do you hear me? They think I look good. They don't even have to fucking come and talk to me. I don't want a fucking girlfriend. Don't pray that I find that right girl. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want a wife. I'm happy being single. I saw. I stopped selling my soul to the devil, and that's this extreme. The hottest you two, the hottest you now are in here, Lexi Carmen. I apply. I jumped into a guest key, and you know what she fucking says? Well, let me go guess this guy that it looks like my grandpa. No fucking shit. And I asked this Lexi Carmen. If one day when I'm broadcasting, if she she will come and watch me, she's like, yes. I write. Top it. Well. 
I tap it again. I tell her I'm broadcasting that. She's like, I'm like, we come and do you know I me. Mean? She reads the comments. She's like, very sarcastically. If I feel like it. If I was a good-looking guy, she's like, sure, I'll drop by and say hi to you. I want girls like Lexi Carmen to think I look good. I don't want the sex. Fuck that. I don't even. I don't. I don't. I. Don't, I, don't, I just want to know that. Know they think I'm good looking. Even if they don't talk, come and talk me, to me. And now if they come and talk to me and become my friend, that's icing on the cake. Yep, that's a fucking bicycle. I had to ride that goddamn motherfucking bitch home tonight. Four and a half fucking miles. Cause I ain't got a fucking car. I ain't got no fucking money. I can't afford my fucking Wi-Fi. And even, and even if I could afford a fucking car, fuck that. I'd say that fucking money for, for the fucking goddamn fucking stem cells. You know what I want to curse God for there? My, compu I, my computer fucking glitched up. I, everything looks like a fucking uh, negative on a video, a, a, a negative on a p picture. I can't get this fucking shit to fucking work like it's fucking supposed to. Get the fucking my fucking color. Does anybody know how to get how I can fix this fucking computer so I can fucking see everything as it's supposed to fucking be seen? Not like what the fucking goddamn fuck is that? Oh, somebody's in my fucking... God fucking damn it. What? If somebody would jump in my fucking guest queue, I, I would. It's an A supporter. The whole goddamn screen is black. I see me, but I look like a goddamn negative image on a film. I curse God for this. I curse God for this. I curse God for this glitch. I curse God. And Jesus is the devil if I don't get this fucking shit fixed. I curse God for this. I just hit hit my computer. Maybe that'll fucking fix the fucking thing. I curse God that I had to wear these glasses because of my vision going out. I curse God most of all for the way my face looks old. And 30 is old. I sell my, I'm willing, if God will not do it, I, no, no. I sell my soul to the devil if it takes it. I swear, by the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that if I do not look in my 20s again, become a good looking guy like I want to, and become a sex, a successful rapper, and get my goddamn sins out that Jesus is not the Son of God, that He is not the Son of God, that you can throw that Bible in the chest because it's all a fucking lie, a, f a fucking fairy tale, if I do not get what I want. I vote the name of God, and God, I'll stand before you in judgment day, and you can throw me in the hell that if that's the price it takes. Now, if I can have this, and in the end, you strike me fucking down to the ground and force me to repent and still go to heaven, I'll take that. Well, God, you don't love me enough. Fuck you. You only love me for yourself. That's called selfishness. I thought relationships were to supposed to be two-way. You care, you care, you care about them. They care about you. You both care about each other. With God, God cares about you so that you can care about more about Him. God loves you so that you can love Him more, not so that He can love. God wants you to love Him because He's. He's the biggest, baddest bear in the world. Not because so that he can love you more. My question is, does Jesus, does God love me because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus Christ? Or did God send Jesus to die for me because he loved me? My question is, God, if God can do everything, if, if, with God nothing is fucking impossible. Why in the hell is it impossible for this so-called almighty God to save a person once they've died and gone to hell? The Bible says, not who, uh, who, who will have God, who will have all men to be saved. All, all, all. Do you understand what all means? Everybody. 
and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Well, this, if this is God will, give this is God will. Why in the fuck isn't it happening? Why in the fuck does God Himself harden Pharaoh's heart so that Pharaoh will go to hell? If God loves everybody, no, no, God loves Himself. My mom loves me more than she loves herself. My mom, if death is the end, nothing after your death. My mom would jump in front of that, front of that fucking bullet and go out of existence so I could live. What would the, what the, what would Jesus do? Sure, Jesus died for me. Big fucking deal. Look at what it gets him. His eagle stroke for all eternity. Worthy is the land that was slain to receive glory, honor, and riches. He rose from the dead three days, three days later. Some fucking sacrifice. Three hours of piss poor suffering is supposed to atone for an eternity of burning in hell. How fucking lame is that? Now, if Jesus on that cross, when he said, My God, my God, has, why hast thou forsaken me? If he, for a, li for a moment, truly believed that when he died, he would be eternally damned, yet still chose to die for us. Now that would be love. Now that would make me fall to my knees and worship him and love him. Because I knew... I would know that he'd love me infinitely, eternally. Not just not with not just with this bullshit cookie cutter fucking superficial love that really seeks to exalt himself. And we're just the byproducts of his love. We're just collateral fucking damage. What if God loves me? What about the people going to hell? God doesn't love them? They're just collateral fucking damage for his plan. His plan comes first. Peter, the preachers used to uh, castigate our asses in school. Y you love your fun more than you love God. But well, hey, God loves his fun more than he loves us. God created all things for, for his pleasure. And for his pleasure they were and are created. No, a damn well that the vast majority of human beings would end up burning in hell forever and ever and ever. Just so one fourth of humanity could stroke his fucking ego for all fucking eternity. God, fuck you! You hypocrite! I curse you to get my good looks if I have to. Yes. I wanted to be, be a preacher once upon a time. Yeah. Now, fuck that shit. What's in it for me? Oh, Chris, live the best Christian life you can have. Suffer for Jesus. Fuck suffering for Jesus. What's it gonna get me? Is it going to give me a modest crown? Fuck no. Here on earth, I'm the I'm in the middle. I'm the, uh, Jesus says, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. What about the motherfucker in the middle? The middle class. The fucking middle class. The miserable fucking piss poor middle class. Middle class th down here on the earth, and middle class up there in heaven. Fuck that goddamn shit. Fuck that goddamn shit. Fuck that goddamn shit. And fuck you too, God. You jerk. So... I have to live the best Christian life I can here. Suffer. And I'm not going to be even close to you in heaven like your bosom buddy, John. Yes, Jesus, John was Jesus' bosom buddy. The disciple which leaned on Jesus' breast at dinner sounds like a, sounds like a goddamn bosom buddy to me, goddammit. Jesus is favorite. Jesus is in crowd, heavenly in crowd. Those who die for Jesus are going to get a modest crown. But the rest of us motherfuckers, what are, you, what, what are we going to get fucking, fucking get? I want to be first on here on earth and drop dead last into heaven. At least I fucking got out of hell. Do chill? Well, God, I know, I know, but I'm so, it's called being blinded by rage. I'm so angry, I got to lash out. So if God truly loved me, he'll look, up, look at me with compassion. And he'll weep with me. He'll hold my hand and cry with me. He'll just grab me up and hug me. If God truly... I, that's what I want. But I don't believe in that God. That, that's too fucking good to be true. That's fucking too good to be true. That's too good to be true. You read those old quick time Christians. Jonathan Edwards. God hates the sinner. Listen to preachers like Paul Washer and Tim Conray. God hates you. Well, look at this. Look at it this way. Israel wanted a king. God said, I'm a king. Israel said, no, we want a king. God gave him the king. But he said, but he also said, 
but this is what king you're going to have. And when you cry out and you change your mind, I will not listen. God, I want the good looks. I want the good looks. I want the good looks. And give them to me. And when uh, and give them to me. And when I cry out to you, God, I, want, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this female stalkers. You look at me and said, you wanted this? So, Toyota, you got it. Deal with it. Yeah, I want the good looks. Whatever the cost. Chris, I love you like the Romans love Jesus. Love Jesus. Did the Romans love Jesus? They fucking crucified him. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Yeah, Dodge. Wasn't you the one who called me the retard on the channel when you thought I wasn't listening? Wasn't that you? <laughs> now you're telling, telling me... Don't have me that shit about love. There's no such animal as love. Love, there's no such thing as selfless love. You can't love others if you don't love yourself. The mother loves her son. Why? Because the son is an extension of her, her, her. It is her son. If that child was not her son, she wouldn't love it. Hell no. Fuck no. She loved that child because she loves herself first. And that child is an extension of herself. And she would die for that child because the gl it's a glitch. A biological glitch. Because in her, in her mind, she continues living through her child. Even though she's dead. It's a fucking glitch. That's all love is. It's a goddamn glitch. Don't hand me that shit. It was his brother. Don't hand me that fucking shit. I've heard all the lame ass excuses. I've heard some girls, Rachel 420, I think. I was rapping her for her. And she's like, I want to marry you. You don't have me that fucking shit. She just pulled my fucking chain. I bet you as soon as I got, the, got off the goddamn guesting and let her broadcast. I wish I could see the entire broadcast. I wish she could. I wish I could see what she said, fucking said after I was gone. That would tell me everything that I fucking needed to know. I wish I could see what these motherfuckers said after I left. These motherfuckers, oh, you can rap, you got mad skills. I would, it's what they, they, what these motherfuckers say after I leave that motherfucking tells me, that would motherfucking tell me what, what the motherfucker really fucking thinking. And I bet you I would, it would break my heart, the fucking shit that I would hear. That I'm such a goddamn motherfucking shitting ass fucking pussy ass fucking loser. I'm ugly. What have I got to offer? I'm not, I, all I got to offer is a genius mind. But the day, if you do not look good today, in the 80s, the artists look like death. But they're talent made up for their lack of looks. Why in the fuck today? Today, if you want to make it, if you, don't, if you do not look good today, you're a loser. And, it, 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 and in this day, today, it's just social media. If you are not famous and you want to be, it's because you're a goddamn loser. Now I'm not famous. I've been trying to be famous on social media since 2008. No, to, since March 2009. And nobody knows who the fuck I am. And that I have nobody to blame. The resources, are, the resources are out there. I have no excuse. I'm inexcusable. At least in the 80s you could blame it. Hey, I don't live in Los Angeles. If I lived in Los Angeles, I, I could be famous. You, at least you could lie to yourself and tell yourself that. Today, you have absolutely no fucking goddamn excuse if you're not famous on social media today. Except you are a goddamn fucking fucking shitting ass goddamn motherfucking goddamn loser. I'm gonna see how many goddamn fans I got. Last count, I had 206 fucking fans. That's, I've been doing a lot of broadcasts. Let's see if I ain't got any fucking more fucking fans. Okay. This goddamn computer fucking fucking goddamn shit fucking wrong wrong fucking goddamn color can't get this goddamn thing back to goddamn normal 230 fucking fans well that's not fucking bad that means I gained four that means I gained 14 no 24 I gained two. I gained 24 fucking fans since today. 
Question, how long are they going to save my fucking fans? They'll trade it out, edit it, everything. Try to tell them that the good looking girls are here. They'll laugh, they'll, they'll laugh you to your face. SFE, what's that? Oh, I uh, yeah. Everything, everything, my whole life, my whole life and body is fucking broke. Everything about me is fucking broke. Because, no, it's not that I want fame. I just want to be a good looking guy. And if I was a good looking guy, I would, uh, I would be famous. But it's not fame that I want. I, I is, all I want is to be the good looking guy. And fame would come as a side effect. Well, they're not me. They're not me. What's God afraid of? That I'll actually be happy as a good-looking guy and famous? Is God afraid of me? Yes, there's a place in the Bible where God cops the fear. Where God cops to being afraid like a pussy. In the book, Deuteronomy, in Deuteronomy, he's like telling, talking about Israel. He's, he was, he was, he was, he was spouting off out the mouth how he was fixing to destroy Israel. Fixing to lay, make them into nothing. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy. And why was he afraid of the wrath of the enemy? Lest they should say I had, had done this. And not God. He was afraid of the other nations. Taking his, stealing his thunder. Taking the glory for what he did. He was afraid of them getting the glory instead of him. Yeah. God, God was afraid. God was terrified of them getting the glory and not him. God, I challenge you. Give it to me. What you what are you afraid of little old, little old me, you bitch? Get in the face of the good looking I challenge you, God, I challenge you, you bitch. Uh I actually I'm not from LA. I've been in LA, I've been in Los Angeles sixteen times, but I'm from Kinston, North Carolina, this little shanty shit town. You need a where you need a time machine to get back get here because we're so ass backs behind the fucking times. This city fucking sucks. Don't, you don't, you're doing that one hundred fucking dollars. Well, if I do, I don't see one hundred fucking dollars, I'm going to cuss you out roundly. I'm going to do a video where I cuss you the fuck out. Michael F. 12 says, Michael F. underscore 12 says, if you get in the washing routine, hold on, okay, wait a minute. You're doing it, you're doing it one hundred dollars to what? I know I'd make sure you know what the fuck you're talking about. We are doing it one hundred dollars where? What's my GoFundMe account? I want to make sure you know what the fuck you're doing. You're not just shooting me a load of fucking bullshit. Well, I need the money. I need the fucking money. No, no, no. I lost all bullshit. Here's our fucking GoFundMe account for the umpteenth time. Now, I know I'm making a fool of myself, but I, I'm willing to make a fool of myself to get the goddamn fucking stem cells so I can be normal again! Instead of that fucking retard! Like Dodge called me. When he thought I was a. Thought, when he was guessing with that old man last night and thought I wasn't fucking watching him. There, you fucking satisfied? Shit. Where's my fucking hundred dollars, please? Here, I even do it this way. I need to wash my fucking mouth out. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. I bet y'all don't see a goddamn dime of that fucking hundred dollars. If people really know me, why is it too much to ask for five fucking dollars to my fucking GoFundMe account? If I can get 3,000 people to love me enough to get five fucking dollars to my fucking GoFundMe fucking account, I can get the fucking stem cells and get back 80% of what I fucking lost and rap again and set a fair chance of being rejected in the fucking music business. And if I succeed, I can get the fucking cosmetic surgeon and not, not like, look like this old 
dirtbag shitbag with these fucking wrinkles with this fucking hair loss with the with this with this fucking butt ugly body of mine walking like a fucking retard Uh, I've been to uh, the LAX airport, uh, I've been to Western LAX airport hotel, I go there every first weekend of November for the, uh, for the music convention, the taxi music convention, the road rally it's called, the Western LAX airport hotel, and now in 2005 and 2006 it was held in the Renaissance Hotel on, uh, damn what's the name of that fucking street, leaving the Hollywood Boulevard. God damn it, my, I, cur I want to curse God my memory's going, by, going back. I want to curse God for my memory loss. What's the name of that fucking street? It leads to Hollywood Boulevard, the Renaissance. Holly Renaissance Hollywood Hotel. Well, thank you. Is Liz Love still here? Is Liz, is Liz Love still here? She's a true fan of mine. She, I love her. She's always got my back. Peter Griffin, that that motherfucker. Yep, I told you. Hi, Liz Love. Carmura Car underscore 30984 says I look like Peter Griffin from The Family Guy. I know. Don't I look ugly? It's the truth, goddammit. I'm ugly. If I only had my fucking bangs, I could at least look younger. If I could only get rid of, the, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I, if I, if I could only get go to the dermatologist to get these fucking age marks off the fucking side of my fuck. I call these trailer trash marks. Cause these are uh, these marks. You see these marks on the face of guests on, who appear on Jerry Springer, with their long scraggly hair straight out of the fucking trailer park. Trailer, not not uh, trailer trash. I call these trailer trash age marks. I didn't start getting these fucking things until 2013. When I stopped selling my soul to the devil. Peter. Oh, I'll I, I tell you what the fuck I'll do. I will Google the shit out of this Peter Griffin motherfucker. See what, see what, see what the motherfucker looks like. These goddamn glasses. I'm Googling the shit out of this motherfucker. Ah, show me a fucking picture. God damn. Ah, this motherfucker, he's butt ugly. Man, if I look like this, maybe I need to fucking kill myself. I'm not gonna, but maybe I fucking need to. That's a one ugly motherfucker. Di goddamn right I sold my fucking soul. Perfect the, the good looks. If I'm selling my soul, I, all I want is the good looks. And the girls are seeming for me to see the girls. What's the point of being a good looking guy if I'm not going to be able to see and be seen by shitloads of good looking girls? As good looking as Lexi Carmen. And unique horn, unique horn, unique horn, the best, look, two of the best looking females on you now. But if I'm gonna sell myself, I want the whole, I want the whole package: fame, the good looks, number one spot in the top ten. Hell no, I don't live in the fucking laundromat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for cut. It's really. Well, I, I'm not famous. I'm infamous. Most, of, the majority of my fans like me because they like to make me the fucking butt of the jokes. It's like, like, simp, ex simply Amar Zek said, "Is this what you guys want for this dude to do that to himself? You're sick." Most of my fans, most of my, most of the people who, my fans, most of them, not, uh, not all of them. 
I'm not talking about Liz Love, Humastrom, Rectangular, Abiepis. Most of the, most of the fans, I'm not comedic relief. I'm a goddamn clown. Somebody to be laughed at, not laughed with. But hell, if it takes infamy, if, there, if, if I have to be hated by the whole world to fulfill my dreams, God fuck the whole world. The whole world can go to hell. I'll take it. Just give me my, get, just, just as long as I'm a good looking guy to the girls, the whole world can hate me. There will be a few people who will love me, and that's good enough for me. Even if I'm the best looking guy in the world, those girls are not going to truly love me. They're going to only love me superficially for my good looks. That's fine and daddy. I want fucking that. I got a lot. I got a family that loves me unconditionally. That's not good enough for me. I got to have that superficial love. You see, I'm not like the rest of y'all motherfuckers. I got Asperger's. I'm different. If men are from Mars and women are from fucking Venus, I'm not from this fucking universe. I don't feel, I'm, a, I'm, a world, I'm a circle in a world of fucking squares. Yes, I called y'all goddamn squares because y'all square to me. Y'all not like me. God damn it. I'm not going to be the goddamn square. Fuck that shit. I'm going to take the goddamn power. I'm, I'm going to define what I am. You're not going to goddamn it call me a goddamn square. You're not going to define who I am. I'm going to define what the fuck you are and who I am. Do you get a fucking picture? You are not going to run roughshod over me. This guy, his wife, snubbed me, so I called her a bitch. He's a weightlifter. He said, if you so help me God, you call my wife and not a bitch again, I will beat you to death. Yes, you could beat me to death, but you know what I could do? If I wanted to, if I wanted to go to prison, I could get me a vat of I could get me a large bucket of acid. I know where he works at, because he's not expecting, and I could throw it, smash him with acid, and little old me could watch as he screamed and yelled in terror and pain, knowing that I have the power, but I just don't want to go to prison. But goddamn, you let me find out I got a terminal disease. God damn it! I plead the fifth. Enough of that. You get the fucking picture of what I'm saying. You dare hope I never lose hope. You dare hope I uh, keep a semblance of hope. Right now, the hatred I feel for God. I love God. Part of me loves Him. Or is that really who God is? Is is that who I think God is? Let's make it. Let's see how many fucking people. Whoa. Ah, uh, somebody. Do I, is it just me or did somebody give me some gold bars? Damn, I got more than 20 viewers. I finally reached a record. I finally accomplished the next step. Get 20 fucking viewers in my fucking. I should be home by now drinking my cup of coffee, but I'm having such fun here. I got 20, I, yes, praise God, I got, uh, I, I did not praise God after what I said about, about him. I got 20 viewers. Yeah, thanks Liz Love. Now, ah, uh, two of them just fucking left. My number two fan, it says, is Liz Love. Damn, number one I finally got some fucking gold bars. Finally. Finally. These people are starting to show. Act. Action. Not just a bunch of fucking hot air. Because. Because I'm being myself. I'm not holding anything back. I'm not putting on a happy face. Pretending like everything's hunky dory when it's fucking not. When everything's shitty. Like that song. Mother, mother. Mother, mother. I'm lonely. I'm starving. I'm bleeding to death. Yeah, everything's fine. I miss you. I love you. <laughs> Eight shares. Cool. Six. Uh, I should give myself a lot. Fuck that. Well, this is one thing I hate God for. My ear congestion. Doctors can't fix me up. Not only that. But they can't even tell me what the fuck is wrong with me. But I do got some good news tonight. That Rachel girl, one who was 
pulling my string, telling me her sister wanted to marry me. Shit. I, I, you know, I, I left the comment. I'm one, tell me the truth. Am I one ugly awesome dork in the laundromat? She's like, no, you're not. She said it believably, so I'm 90% sure she likes me. Kinda. Nope, it's my computer. Okay, I'll stop causing God for 10 minutes. Let's see my GoFundMe account. Let's see if I got fucking anything. Thanks, Samantha E. Oh, uh, I'm going to be drinking my fucking coffee at 2 fucking o'clock in the 2.30 in the morning. I need coffee. It makes me feel happy. Uh, since I don't drink, God bless America, since I don't drink alcohol or smoke dope or do drugs, I got to do something. Maybe I, if, maybe I, maybe if I started eating marijuana brownies. Nope, nobody's donated a, a fucking thing to my fucking GoFundMe account. Not a fucking thing. Not a fucking thing. Not a goddamn thing. Not a goddamn thing. How am I going to get my stem cells? If I can't do Do I have to go out? I hear you can, I hear, maybe, maybe if I can find out a way to get people's social security numbers. Not, not my friends. Like that motherfucker who threatened to beat me to death. If I can get his social security number and information, maybe I could commit a defraud, get the money fraudulently and get the stem cells. And hey, if I go to prison, I'd rather go to prison feeling Wonderful, feeling healthy, then be free, feeling like I do now. It's worth it. I, I, I'll get out in about two years, and I'll be healthy. And I'll support my finger in society. This is what you get. You got a criminal on your head, on, my, your, uh, on your motherfucking head. You made this criminal. You see the me? I, I'm a monster. I'm a criminal. I point my finger at you, society. You could have prevented me from doing this. You could have helped me, but you did not love me enough. And because you hate me, if you don't love me, you hate me. And because you don't hate me, I hate you back to society. And it, it gave me pleasure to rob from you. Because you did not, because you hated me. You either love me or you hate me. I'm with Jesus. He that is not with me is against me. God damn it, if you don't, if you don't love me, you hate me. And if you hate me, fuck you! <laughs> now how's that for egotistical? I don't make sense. I'm such a loser. I keep criticizing myself for being such a loser. But I act like a goddamn narcissist. <laughs> I'm afraid to... I'm, I, I'm not going to try to get guess the Lexi Karma's live, live broadcasting for a couple of weeks because I've been on that enough. She's going to think... The, the, she's going to think I... The bitch is going to think I'm stalking her. Whereas if I was a good looking guy, she'd be stalking me. Or, if not still, God damn it, I want death threats. I want to start getting death threats. I want stalkers. Female, of course. God damn it, you, you celebrities and stars if you're listening. Quit the goddamn bitches about stalkers. Quit the goddamn bitches about getting the death threats. God damn it, if you don't want to give it to me, along with your celebrity dumb. I'll take it from you. I'll take it from your hands. And you can take that my miserable life. You can take my life of being a fucking nobody. I'll swap places with you, God fucking damn it. God shitting ass fucking damn it. And you can take that shit to the fucking bank and cash it. And when you do, please give me five dollars in my fucking GoFundMe account. This poor guy. Yep. That's the people like you. Calling me a fucking retard. If it's someone start, hey, I can handle myself. It's called a gun. Somebody shot me and tried to hurt me. I'm fucking pop a cap in the goddamn ass and not think twice about it. Justifiable homicide and know that I am somebody because I killed somebody who tried to hurt me. No shit. I have so much hate in your heart. Why do I have so much hate? Because that motherfucker God won't let me have a goddamn thing that I fucking truly want. 
And that devil, I sell my soul to him. That motherfucking pussy, piss ass, can't get me what I want. Say no laugh in your face, Lucifer. I've sold my soul for, to you for years. And you can't get me... You're a, you're a goddamn joke, Lucifer. You're a goddamn joke, Satan. If you're, if you're, if you're really powerful, get, Satan, make me a good-looking guy. Alrighty. Now, God and the devil sometimes work in hand in hand. Like with Job. God told the devil, you can do this to Job. God, please tell Satan he has permission to make me into a good-looking guy. Fuck the money. I want the good look. I can't work. Because here's, here's the problem. I get SSI and disability. If I work, if I make over a hundred fucking dollars a week a month, I lose my Medicare. If I lose my Medicare, you know, uh, you know how much my goddamn medical bills are going to be if I don't get Medicare in the thousands of goddamn dollars. Why in the fuck should I work just to feel good about myself? Only have all my goddamn money to go up in goddamn medical expenses and have less than I do now sitting on my goddamn dead ass not doing a goddamn thing and, and at the same time getting all my medical needs taken care of. No, I wouldn't. Well, here's what I do. I go out and panhandle. I go out. I go out and panhandle. I say I, I go. I don't just sit outside the stores. I go inside the stores. I ask people court, for quarters. I did that in 2007. I made six thousand one hundred fifty-eight dollars ninety-six cents. Unfortunately, I had legal bills. When I was talking shit about the cop, the fucking cops in Greenville, and they tried to slap a fucking felony on me. Just for saying that the cops can die like the rest of us. They took that as a fucking threat. Did I say I was going to kill a cop? Fuck no, I just said the cops can die. The cops ain't no better than us because they could die like the rest of us. And they took that as a fucking threat. I had to pay the fucking lawyer. Kitty Wharf, you're not bad looking. I can't... T because my... Fucking computer's fucky. I can't tell. Are you a female though? Lit a uh, kitty wolf. Are you a female? Yeah, but the object is not to be able to say I got it better than somebody who has no eyes. The object is to be able to say, well, every morning when I get up, it's great to be alive. I got all my body. I got a sound mind and a sound body. The object is to be whole, with nothing lacking. If I have everything. But one, but one of my eyes, I'm not whole, I'm not complete. If I have everything, every morning I wake up, my ear congest is congested. I'm not complete, I'm not whole. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole, whole, whole. Not, not half-assedly done healed, but whole. I do not want to feel like I'm dying until a month or so before I actually die. Is that too fucking much to ask? Thanks, Kitty. Rob the washing machine. Your sarcasm is not fucking appreciated. Fuck you too. Go be a sarcastic. This is not a goddamn joke. This is how I fucking feel. I don't drop the fucking sarcasm. God damn it. Drop the fuck. Drop the fucking sarcasm. I as you said. Drop the goddamn lame ass goddamn fucking joke. Get serious. Quit thinking about pussy for a change and think about somebody else. Fuck the sarcasm. God damn it. Fucking glasses are already fucking brushed out the bottom. I'm going to go steal the... I'm going to go steal... I broke my glasses. That costs money to get a new pair of glasses. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm just, I can steal the fucking things. I'll go steal me a pair of glasses tomorrow. And I can do it. I'm powerful enough to be able to steal and get away with it. Other people steal and they get busted and go to jail. If you only knew the shit that I've stolen in the past <laughs> and gotten away with. Hey, if I can't if I can't be a good looking guy, at least I can be a good criminal. If I can be a rapper, if I can be a celebrity, god damn it, I can be My heroes are John Gotti and Pablo Escobar right now. 
and Aaron Barkovich as played by Julia Roberts in the movie Aaron Barkovich. That woman would cut you out in a heartbeat. But when she became a but when she became a hero, all of a sudden when she worked with a lawyer to help other people who had been fucked over by PG and E, Pacific Gas and Electric. People who had cancer. When she when she worked with a lawyer to help get them millions of dollars in settlement. All of a sudden she's this great humanitarian. She cares about other people. The moral of the story is once I get my happiness, I'll be happy enough. I'll start caring about the rest of y'all, motherfuckers. I'll work to make your lives happy because I'll be happy. But until I, I can't I can't fix your house if my house is fucking broken. Sure, if y'all make it, I'll be happy for you. But until I'm happy, god damn it. God damn, god damn, I can't be happy. My happiness will be incomplete. I'll see you happy. I'll be happy for you, but I'll, god damn it. I'll be asking, why can't I be happy like the rest of y'all motherfuckers? God fucking damn it. They're broke now. I can't even find the motherfuckers. They're one, they're one, I'm one of these motherfucking washing machines. That's okay. I'm gonna steal me of some glasses of the fucking mall. I gotta save my money for my own fucking stem cells. Since nobody's donating to my fucking goddamn stem cells. Yep. It figures. Nobody is in my fucking guest queue. See this shit? <gasps> you see shit? This is why Lexi Carmen said, well, let me go and guess that guy that looks like I, my grandpa. When you have to ride a fucking bike like me, you have to wear a coat like me, this. I do look like your fucking grandpa, don't I? Especially when I don't say that, especially with these fucking wrinkles on my fucking goddamn face that I didn't have in 2012! I want you all to witness, witness this. God, if you will not help me, then I'll get down on my hands and knees. I'm willing to worship the devil. Follow that. The devil said to Jesus, all these things will I give to you if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Satan, God, if I have to, for the good looks, for my stem cells, for my health back, to be a celebrity, a beloved celebrity, not a celebrity like, celebrity like William Hung or one of these under-looking celebrities. To be a celebrity up there right along with Brad Pitt. Now, a celebrity, a super superstar. I'm willing to right here bow down my knees, bow down on my hands and knees and worship Lucifer. The sun of the morning. Put my head. You are the god of this world, Lucifer. If you, if it, what? Just give me whatever I want, please. And when I die, you can roast me like a fucking hot dog in the fucking pits of fucking hell. I don't want that. I'd rather God give it to me. But God, I, every time I try to trust God, every time I repent of settling my soul to the devil, all of a sudden I look at my the mirror and my face suddenly. It looks older than it usually does. All of a sudden, I can't not rap like as good as I used to. All of a sudden, my speech starts going away again. I had my stroke in 2013, one year after I repented of some of my soul. Is this what God has more for me? 
Fuck you, God. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. If this is your, your plan for my life, fuck you. I'd rather look to get my health back. I'd rather been molested as a child multiple times, gang raped by people, by child molesters, mean, ugly, pot bellied child molesters, and have my health than to feel like this. If I could become a child tomorrow, a 12 year or a 10 year old kid, and throw him in the, the harshest prison in the nation and be raped all day long. But the day after, come back perfectly healthy. I I say, God, you got yourself a deal. And that is and that and that and, and that is without even be, be being the good looking God, that is just be healthy. Then I would be strong enough. Somebody, but somebody, somebody enough to work for the money I need to, for the cosmetic surgery. I'm not asking you to give me money for cosmetic surgery. Fuck that. I, I'm not just asking for the money for the stem cells so I can become a rapper, work it, and make the money so I can earn the money like the rest of y'all motherfuckers have to do. Earn it and pay for my own goddamn cosmetic surgery. That's on my dime. Now I have no right. Now, I, now I have no goddamn right to ask any of you goddamn people for a goddamn penny. But hope the fart makes you the heart sick. But when you're in pain, pain will make you do and say things you uh, you would not say in your right mind. I'm not sick in the head. I know damn well what I'm doing is fucking wrong. I just uh, fuck God. Fuck right and wrong. I'm heart sick. The book of Proverbs said, Hope the third maketh the heart sick. I'm sick in the heart. I'm not sick in the head. I'm not crazy. I know goddamn well what I'm doing. So all you motherfuckers calling me a crazy man, calling me loony, fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stupid assholes. You don't know if your ass is a fucking hole in the ground. Bunch of shallow ass goddamn motherfuckers think I'm off my rocker. I know what I'm doing is wrong. I just don't give a fuck. Not until I get my house in order. I want to love everybody. I want to Let's Let me see. Nope. Yeah, I got one guess. I can guess one person if I go. Miracle is mirror. Miracle is still too fucking happen. It's amazing. Fucking amazing. Fucking. I can't believe I got a guess. Fucking awesome. That's an awesome, awesome fucking... Uh, I might have to get my earphones out. Now watch him decline. No, he didn't. Miracle of miracles. Let me put my uh, microphone in so I can hear him. Cause this this is lame ass fucking computer. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Thanks for guessing. It means the world to me. Oh, really? That's cool. Yep. So, what's on your mind? Not much, man. You need, you need to relax, man. Well, we can talk about something. <laughs> am I scaring you? Am I scaring you with my dive traps? With my monologues? Or is this some real shit? Or is this the realest shit you've ever seen? It's 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 probably the weirdest shit I've ever seen. You're right. Yes. It's, I'm, be, I'm being real. I'm being for real. This is for real. This is not fake. I've, let, I've, I've checked the fake. The, I've checked fake this at the door. Fuck that. I'm being real. As real. As real. As real. As real. So re I'm real. Is real. Is real. Awkward silence. <laughs> Do what? Do you want to see something, Chris? Yeah. Okay. Um, you it's hard to see because. Part? Yeah. Okay. This is this is what I'm gonna do. Watch. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deal the cards one by one, just like uh -huh. that, and say stop whenever you want. 
say stop whenever you want? Stop. Right there. Yeah. Now I landed on one card. One card. You landed on one card. Look, check this out. It's the four of hearts. It's the four of hearts. Okay. Had you stopped me anywhere else, you would have gotten a different card. You can see all the different cards, right? Yeah. But I made a prediction. I left this prediction right here in plain view. Uh-huh. Check it out. Damn. The four of hearts, Chris. I like that. That's cool. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was a cool trick. You have to teach me that one day. <laughs> I gotta teach you. Well, I, 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 well, I, I know magicians never tell. I, I'm just saying. I've always been fascinated by magicians' uh, ability to do those, do those things. Do you want to see one more? Yeah. And now I'm going to go home and drink my coffee. Let's see where do I leave it? I feel like I'm going to pass out tonight because of my congested ear. Boy, what I wouldn't do for my health. You can you can see the cards? Watch. Yes. You can see them, right? Yep. You see they're all red? Yes. You can also see the backs. Here, let me give the cards a cut. And watch. I'm going to put them inside the box just like that. You see how they're uh -huh. inside the box? Yeah. I'm just going to do this. Watch. Watch closely. You see them turn blue. It's like that. Damn. Now watch. Watch. I take the cards out and you can see that they're all blue now. Yep. Actually see that? Damn. Like that. <laughs> That's cool. Here, you want to see them go back to red? Yeah. Watch. It's this movement. I wave my hand through just like this. It's this movement right here, where I do that, uh -huh. and I do that. Damn. You can see all the cards are now red again. That was awesome. Thank that you. was fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just free. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> you'd make money. You'd make money doing that. I can, actually. Yeah, I can. You're right. <laughs> Maybe you should try to become a magician. Well, my motor skills are whack. My motor skills are all fucky. You know, that's why I need the stem cells. See my, uh, see my, uh, see my, the way my finger, shit. See the way my finger shrivels, shrivels up. That's why okay. I don't learn to play an instrument. Yeah, I, can, I, I can't, it's not that I don't want to, it's I cannot. I cannot strum the car. I, I cannot play the keyboard because I don't call it a disability. I call it a liability. That's what I call it. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Hmm. Well, thank you. But uh, you know, just don't don't call yourself ugly. You don't need cosmetic surgery, dude. You don't need any of that. That's, that's all bullshit. Well, I, 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 at least I need a hair transplant. I could do that, you know. Just so I could have the bangs back when I was in high school. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a, I, I'm a head on out. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad my magic at least calmed you down. I hope you have a great night. <laughs> you too. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Hold on. Well, I believe I'm head on out. Damn, I'm getting. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. Well, I said until I'd get a thousand likes, a thousand thumbs up. That is. Twenty-two in my audience. Come on, give me. Let me send me home with a thousand likes, please. The manager is coming. <laughs> Goddamn caught sarcasm.
I call the manager. Tell, tell, go to hell. What someone told me one time. Well, I got the thousand likes, I guess. Oh, thanks, Liz, love. Oh. You don't even know where the fuck it is. Uh. That the guy called the manager. It's not it's not sarcasm. I called the manager. Manager, you fucking narc. Oh, I'm female. Cool. Don't you know snitching? Ki sn uh, in some places, you, you just be glad I uh, I am who I am. In some places, being a snitch can get you killed. I'm not going to do that, but because I'm a nice person. But snitches and think snitches and Informants are not very popular in the world. They're they're bitches. Snitch all, snitch like a fucking bitch. Goddamn narc. Well, I would rap, but my eyes don't feel like getting roasted. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. I'll do one rap. Let me see. Into the square, countless of is coming together like you're giving music to the heaven, heaven, we should not fall. I got the followers of Kyle, I got the core of the flow. I'm so wishing that they get to get to everybody, stop the rocket in the distance. Listen, Gunters, ring out, sign, scream out. It's right, the city, there's war in the city. There are times when it might be right to fight, to bring back the peace. But it's not really be that war in the city. Red, white, the black, the mix, the yellow, all coming together into the square. It is like natural glisten in the mix. Boosh out! The world cities mustard gathered four buffoon. World War three me. World War goddamn show. World War three me. World War three me. World War warfare nuclear warfare final doom final doom final doom. And that, my friends, is what the future holds for us if we don't change our way of living. If we don't change our way of thinking. If we don't start putting our faith in God of above and start loving one another, our brother here below on earth, we've got to love everybody like we love ourselves. Red, white, black, mixed, yellow. Ha! <laughs> if all of us could do this, this world would become heaven on earth. And, there we should, and, they, should, and they would beat their sword in the plowshares. And there will be no more war. They shall beat the sword in the blouse shows. And there will be no more war in the city, in the countries, in the world, in the universe, or anywhere else for that, or anywhere else for that matter. <laughs> but until then, that war in the city. It's a shithole world we live in. Always everybody fucking fighting one another, fucking going to war, fucking killing one another. I fucking I never fucking love anybody fucking else but their fucking self. So fuck that shit. I leave y'all. I know y'all don't believe it, but in some way I love every one of y'all. Even those believing the fucking shitty ass sarcastic bullshit comments. You are. Yeah, I said I haven't got my glasses. I can't read. So I copy and paste this, these comments. And when I get home, I got glass at home, I read them. Now, oh, love, thank you. I'm go. Bye, sayonara, y'all. Until the day when I'm a good looking, young looking guy on this broadcast, shit happens. I love you too. Yes, I'll take care. I'll try my best.